I have experimented five methods of growing jute and this method is the best by far. Before you grow jute, you have to break the dormancy period. And the method you are going to see in this video is we are going to boil water and pour on our jute seed in order to scarify the seed. This will help the seed grow faster or germinate faster. Not only to germinate fast, but also it helps the seeds to grow in uniform and develop well. Put a pot on fire and pour water into it. Make sure you heat it that your water can boil make sure it boils very well so i'm going to cover my water and let it on fire for a while and while that is happening i'm going to prepare a bowl this is where i am going to pour my seed now my water is boiled well you can see the vapor that's what i want so i'm pouring my seed here into this bowl and i need these clothes as you see you will find out why I, I need the cloth as we go along the line so you can use any piece of cloth at all to do this that's my jute seed well dried and it's viable that has been kept very well uh, despite this seed was made for a long time it was kept well so my water is boiled and I'm going to pour it on my seed while it is in the cloth while I'm expecting the water to cover the jute so all of it is supposed to be submerged in the water but since that is not happening because my water is not a plenty I am using the spatula to mix it that everything will settle in the water depending on the seed you are having the amount of seed you should fetch water to that quantity so now that i i have my seed in the water the boiled water i'm going to cover it and leave it for 10 to 20 minutes I have left it for 10 to 15 minutes I think this was 20 minutes or so and I'm going to squeeze the water and the next thing I want to do after squeezing the water is that I want to dry it and the reason I'm drying it is is sometimes you don't you don't broadcast this seed on on, on the same day okay after clarifying it you don't broadcast it on the same day so you have to make sure you keep it well and it should be dried and this process can also take from 10 to, uh, 5 to 10 minutes depending on your temperature uh, today I think the temperature is really high here so I will be keeping this to at least 10 minutes or so or less than that so I'm spreading it on the cloth and making sure that it dries well. The additional reason you need to dry this is you are going to spread this during the broadcasting. You're going to spread this all over the land. And you don't want it picking on your hand. Like you don't want it sticking to your fingers whilst you do that. As you can see, I have a lot of them stuck there and I don't want that so you need to dry it you see what is happening i have it stuck there and i don't want that to happen whilst i broadcast that's another reason because i will be broadcasting my right now today so i don't i'm not going to keep it the next thing is i'm preparing the land uh, for this i already have the land i just uh, waited this and i whilst i waited for it to dry i want to kind of like tell the land that i can just mix it with some organic uh, fertilizer I have good physics out that I've been keeping for my garden for a while now and I'm going to mix it everything is going to be done today uh, <laughs> just straight away I have mixed this and I'm going to fetch my uh, good physics that's going to be my fertilizer to just help it grow fast I've tested this uh, it has worked well for me so kudos it's going to be beautiful
what you know be seeing me do in this video is after spreading the physics the organic matter on it i am not going to miss the soil but the best thing you should do after spreading the physics you should make sure that you you mix it well i think my jute is dried at least enough to broadcast it's looking all good I'm starting the broadcasting just going to be spreading it randomly you don't have to mind jute will do what it does best have some maize there i have maize i have cocoa yam this is a this is maize cropping and jute doesn't mind as far as the land is good for it you can grow it anywhere you want to and it will be fine after growing make sure you water it just like you water any plant you grow jute you should water the seed after broadcasting that's it so i'm done uh, growing my juice done with the planting and i waited a day to terry and this is the terry and this is what is happening that has started shooting so the germination germination process has already begun and you could see it is shooting pretty well had it not been that i scarify the seed it will take like a week or even more than that before you see something happening like this this is the fourth day all right It's great to come back to your farm and see this <coughs> on the fifth day this is what we have jute is already grown leaves broad leaves that we can start even eating okay this is it on the fifth day beautiful on the sixth day my jute is just good good for harvest good that you can sell people will buy it you can get this to the market now you see it's well grown on the sixth day already this is the seventh day on the seventh day my plant is well grown very tall and broad leaves all over had it not been that I scarified it, I had to wait about that seven day to be able to see it begin to, to germinate. But this is the seventh day and already this is well grown, it's developed well and what next, I have already started harvesting on the seventh day. And I could have started harvesting even on the sixth or fifth, uh, or fifth day because I have what? Scarified my seed. As I told you, I have tried all kinds of methods and this is the best. So I'm harvesting. I want to prepare some soup for a clay quickly. You'll be missing that. Thank you for watching and we will meet.